My name is Stefan. Can everybody see me? Yeah. All right. Um, I'd like to um, to bring you up to speed with uh, our work on the Tour de Drupal. Has who hasn't heard of the Tour de Drupal? Okay, great. That's fine. Um, what I, what this presentation is about is just to bring you up to speed. Uh, what it is, what we have been doing. And hopefully you all get really excited to join. Okay, fingers crossed. Right, so the Drupal is uh, an idea that um, started a while ago, and it's all about cycling. Uh, what we're trying to do is get um, Drupal people together and cycle casually, very fast if you want to, if you're a trained cyclist, or to cycle to Drupalcon in Amsterdam. Uh, at the end of September of this year. Okay, just a little bit of background is how how did it all start? Last year after DrupalCon Prague, uh, Rachel, she's part of the team, she tweeted this. Can everyone see that? Can you read it? Okay, so she promised to uh, to cycle to Amsterdam. And I think that came well she's a cyclist and um, given the fact that Amsterdam is obviously a cycling city, I think there are 900,000 bikes just in the city alone. So, and the infrastructure is there in Holland. So yeah, why not? So we started cycling. I mean, we didn't start cycling, but um, I tweeted, I replied to her tweet as well, the bottom one. Just uh, okay, because to me it sounded really good, a good idea just to join her. And since then, this was September 2013, we have, well, basically how it started. This is what is, how, uh, how it started. I started um, communicating with people via Twitter, and within no time, within half an hour or so, there were so many people tweeting that I couldn't reply to all these people, and other people were finding the same problem. So I set up, um, we, or I set up the Tour de Drupal Twitter account, and just shortly after that, I put together a quick website uh, with using Drupal Gardens to register people's interest. And since then, we've had uh, just over 50 people who are interested in, uh, in some shape or form, people from all over Europe and even from the States. Um, there's, I believe, somebody who wants to fly into the UK, then rent a bike and cycle with us, which is great. There are also other plans. There's a, a group in uh, Zurich, Switzerland. I believe there are five people. And they are cycling. Well, they've decided to cycle from Switzerland all the way to Amsterdam. And I believe they've planned five days to do that. But they are quite experienced cyclists. So, uh, so our plan, what we're doing, this is just an update on the project, the work that we've been doing. So this is how it all started. Um, we had our first presentation at the Drupal Camp Northwest uh, in November 2013. Some of us brought our bikes and we even managed to, to nip outside during the lunch break. And we went for a cycle ride in Manchester, it was really nice. We went to the, uh, the velodrome, had a look around and cycled back. Okay, so moving on. Uh, we were featured in a blog by uh, Bert Bouland. He's um, quite involved in the Drupal community. He, um, he's been uh, so with us and supporting us from day one, which is yeah, great. Thank you, Bert. Okay. Then, uh, Drupal Camp London in February 2014, we did two things. We had a sprint. Uh, we all came together to work on um, the project, so how to organize it, what did we need. Uh, we came up with a plan that, or the idea that, well, if we're all cycling, there's no way we can take all of our bags and laptops. So the idea um, was formed to have somebody drive behind us or in front of us with a van to carry all the equipment. Uh, so we'll be talking about that and just working out the structure of our website because we're building a, a website specifically for that. I'll get onto that in a minute. We also had a both with um, quite a few interested people, which was great. Right, moving on, uh, March 2014, 
Uh, we had we came together in Brighton in a new co-working space by Steve Perkis. Came together and we had a, a two of us couldn't make it, so we did a, a Skype or yeah a Skype chat. So we worked some more on the website and organising uh, other things and looking at you know, ferry crossing how much it would be and, and things like that. Um, Jan, who is part of the team, he himself and Emma, they're both on the photo actually, and Emma's in the middle and Jan on the left. They worked on uh, the site again, the new site in Seged, and Jan is also making a app. So what we're trying to do is have an app that runs on Android. It's pretty much finished, I think. He's tested it. And the idea is that this app will, uh, when it's running, obviously, it will post the information to the website. And um, people can obviously look at the site and follow the progress of everybody who's cycling. And since there's already another team from Switzerland cycling, yeah, it would be really nice. I mean, it will be so that you can see these people moving towards DrupalCon Amsterdam. Okay. So that's, uh, that was March. In April, and it's still there, I checked it this morning, and there was a post on the DrupalCon Amsterdam website uh, mentioning us, which is great. And hope from there we've had some other um, inquiries of people who wanted, um, wanted to join us and think, oh, that's a great idea. I'd like to be, uh, be part of it. Another thing that um, people are thinking of doing is having a, which is quite funny, uh, a, um, a big welcome. So we cycle into a big park in Amsterdam and they welcome us, uh, which will be quite, um, quite good. Uh, okay. Well, let's go back to this one. Who of you is, um, is it is into cycling? Who does cycling? Who wants to cycle? Yeah, Joseph. Yeah, you. Excellent. Where are you from? Sorry. Uh, from Slovenia. Sorry, from Slovenia. Yeah. Okay, great. So you're cycling from Slovenia to Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long way. <laughs> yeah, it is a long way. The thing that we were talking about though is that you don't have to cycle. I believe the people from Zurich they want to cycle all the way, but. Obviously, there are other there are alternatives that you can say. Okay, I'm going to cycle a bit, and I'm going to take a train, and cycle a bit more, and take another train, and then you'll. That's another way you could do it. But if you if you can, I mean, cycling on your own is not it's fun, but it's not that fun. So if you have anybody else, I've spoken to other people here yesterday, and some of them are quite interested. But yeah, cycling all that way on your own is not good. So maybe if you can form a team, and um, that would be brilliant. And the idea, just to elaborate on the site that we're building, we're using organic groups. And the plan behind that is that um, anybody, say you want to start cycling, you have somebody else who wants to do the same from Slovenia, and then you can build, you can make your own group and set up your own route. And if you have an app, the Android app, it's not quite finished yet, but once it's there, you can all kind of plot yourself on the map. And we can see where you are and where you go. So yeah, please spread the word. Uh, the last thing that we did is we had a sprint weekend. This all happened in in uh, the beginning of this month, actually, not that long ago. Uh, it happened in my uh, in my uh, co-working space. So we came together, five of us, and it was a weekend about with coding, um, cycling, and camping. I've made a short, a short video of it. So we know there's a couple of things we want to change about mapping. Yep, we want to have a look at OG. Almost looks like 
the, the wheels are the eyes of the drop. So you take the white yes. circle out, move it up, yeah. it's like a smiley face. Like a and the glass looks sad on my eyebrows. Well, that was good, productive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. went a bit. How's it going, Jan? Good. You look quite comfortable on that bike. <laughs> How fast? 54. been up to and um, yeah it was a bit of an impromptu presentation but this is uh, this is it really so if there's anybody here who wants to join us please do you can follow us on Twitter and the new website will be to the drip of the organ a moment when you type it in it will be it will redirect to the the temporary site uh, but yes feel free to leave your uh, your details, you can register your interest um, on that site. And we'll go back to you. You can also sign up for our newsletter. Um, we've only sent one so far. But yes, we are uh, nearer the time, or from now onwards, we'll be communicating more often about the progress of the project. And if there's anything you think you can help with, Drupal related or anything else, or just want to stay up to date, um, please sign up. Okay. Any questions? Who's keen to join? Who wants to join? Come on, come on. Yeah, you. Yeah, you as well. Excellent. Where are you from? France. Excellent. So that's France. Um, Austria. Okay, so we have France, Austria, UK, and Switzerland already. Yeah, from, from Austria we also have Chris who wants to go. Chris, so that's two. Yeah, Slovenia as well, possibly, maybe, definitely. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed the, the uh, session. Yeah. And uh, but I'm interesting. Uh, it, it's all about cycling, as I. Well, uh, yes, it's cycling. So we're cycling with Drupal, all Drupal people cycling to DrupalCon Amsterdam. Uh huh. And it's just a, a fun. It's a casual ride. Okay. And um, it's just about being together and having a good time really and exercising at the same time. So we'll be cycling, well from the UK point of view, the plan is to cycle two days. So the first day is from say London to um, Harwich and then we take the overnight ferry to Hook of Holland and then we we'll cycle in another day and then we're in Amsterdam. But if you're for example in Slovenia or Austria or France, it's a bit further away. Do you still have the map uh, with the people on there? 
Yes, I forgot to mention that. If you go onto the site... Can you show us the map? Show the map. Um, I think so. Let's see. So, so, so you basically organize from wherever you want to start to go to Amsterdam? Yes, that's a triple conference. Yeah. In the... By bicycle. In uh, October or, or when? Yeah, end of September. End of September, end of September. Oh, yeah. it's gone there. Right. We'll, yeah, we are planning to do so. Let's see if we can pull it up for you. We might not make the entire way from Austria, but maybe a little bit. Yeah, you can, you can combine it, do it by train or. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, so what? The water map. This is the, uh, the, cur the current website, it's a temporary one, but you can register your interest here. Uh, we have a map. Basically, you can, you can register your interest here, and then we'll get an email. We've also created a map, which hopefully... So these are people who are already interested in coming along, and they've positioned, they've put a place marker on the map. Who is this? Is that you? That's you! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay. from Slovenia yet? Uh, Slovenia? No one. No, but it can change. It will yeah. change today. Yeah? So, yeah, well, definitely. We need somebody from Tavina. So there's quite a, I mean, who's this here from Spain? Tavina. Um, that's, I think, the furthest away so far. There's even somebody in Stockholm here. Oh, from Mungutal? Excellent. Sorry? I'm just reading. Yeah. Yeah, so put your, um, if you're interested, Put your marker on the map and, and join us. And as I said, the, the new website will have an opportunity or possibility to uh, create yourself as a group and then set your routes. So if you say, okay, I'd like to cycle from Ljubljana to Amsterdam, you can set that as a route and then you have different route legs and people can join you. All right, cool. Thank you. So that's the plan. Okay. And um, ideally, well, we just have to see how this goes. But after the Drupal Amsterdam, obviously the site will still be there. And the plan is to for this site to stay available. So if there's anybody else who wants to cycle to another Drupal event, a camp or a conference, they can just use it, and they can set up their own route to another uh, to another camp or conference. But for the moment, we're focusing on Drupal Amsterdam. But after that, it can be another one. Yeah. So that's, um, that's about it, I think. Any questions? Any more questions? The only thing I think you need to join um, the Tour de Drupal is a bike. And that's it. And if you want to join, you can start um, training now. Again, it's, it's casual, so we're not going to do a race. So how are you planning to um, sleep? Let's say it's probably a more day tour. Yes. Yes. Days. Yeah. So um, each individual need to organize by himself the the you can or you, something. Yeah, you can. But um, hopefully, what we're trying to do is with the website is that once the website is there, people can say set their route. But they can also post information about accommodation, where they're going to sleep. So if you're in a team, in a group, it's nicer to be in a group really. So if you're in a group of a couple of people or more people, you can say, okay, we're going to cycle, I don't know, 100 kilometers today. And we are going to pre-book a bed and breakfast or a hostel or a hotel somewhere on the route, sleep, cycle again. And yeah, depending on how far you are from Amsterdam, you can just repeat that process. Or you say, okay, we're going to cycle. Uh, sleep somewhere, maybe get a train for a bit, cycle a bit more if you're very far away from Amsterdam. And just plan that route with, say, your friends or other people want to join, and um, you just you know, go for it. That's fun. So, yeah, we've had, um, we've had quite some interest. I don't know if you, if you picked up but, uh, some over 50, 50 people have registered an interest already through the site, and they're really keen. And uh, 
Any more questions? All right. Well, I think that's it. It's um, I don't know how, how what the time is. Okay, it's, it's a bit shorter than planned, but it was just to give you an update of what what it is and what we've been doing. Okay. Well, any questions afterwards? Please feel free to to come up to me and have a chat. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.